surely I, I, the game won't just be so much longer. It would it wouldn't do that. Holy cow! What's up, Drift Burger? This guy streams. Yeah, I stream. Oh my god! Even the menu music isn't right for me. So I've had this really cool thing happening today. Not sure what the fuck it is, but every single song I have listened to today has been off pitch for to me. I can notice the difference. And I this menu music is different. I don't know what the fuck is going on with me, but it this is not my day. Something is up with me. I don't know what the fuck it is. But everything has sounded wrong today. So it's been a pretty cool day. <laughs> must be going crazy. I must. I was fucking Googling shit. I'm like, well, okay. I don't think I have perfect pitch. Uh, I don't know what else it could be. I, I don't think it's fucking hearing loss, but it could be. But it's so all of a sudden. So my current theory is... Maybe it's just something stupid and I have an infection of some sort. I don't fucking know. That's my working theory. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Hopefully she goes away soon though or I'm gonna be fucking confused as hell. Just some Q-tips in those wax up ears. Oh, No, my ears are definitely clean. At least I think they are. <laughs> we'll see, I guess. Shouldn't be that, though. I don't know what it is. Woke up and that's been how my day's been. Audio-wise. This has been interesting. If it doesn't go away tomorrow, I don't fucking wake up, listen to music, and it sounded normal to me, then sun's up. You're not supposed to use Q-tips in your ears. New drivers? Nope, nope, no. I'm like listening to music on in my headset on or on my computer. That's not it. Listening to Bluetooth audio on my phone. That's not it. Um, there was something I I don't think it was music related, but I heard something like something else today too. I'm like that's not fucking right. So I don't know what's going on, but that's kind of cool. Hopefully it uh. Yeah, New Year's, actually. Uh, I think that's what it was. But yeah, this is creeping me out a little bit. But surely, it's not a big deal. <laughs> I hope. We'll fucking see. So anyway, back to, like, this game or whatever. That's, like, never gonna end. And, like, Garl's dying or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least I'm in new areas, I guess. So I can't say the music's off, because I've never heard it before. Until I go into the fucking pond. And then... I'm gonna complain that this shit sounds different. <laughs> it sounds different! It's di I, I, have, I have a problem. Oh, this is cool. Go to one of those YouTubers that take out dried up six inch lumps of earwax? Ugh. It sounds the same idiot. Dude, it is different. I, I can't even fucking tell what it is. I can just tell that it's slightly off to me. I don't know what it is. This is bothering me so much. This is the stream I find out I permanently damaged my ears somehow. Holy fucking shit. Uh, man. Come on. Wow. Sky Urchin, that was... That was awesome, glad I did that. Oh, boy. But yeah, I don't know what the hell the problem is. Um... I don't know what the fuck it could be. It could be an ear infection, maybe? I don't... I don't know. What is up with my 7T even? 
seven TV emails as of lately, too. They take fucking forever to load in. Such an entire Shrek movie moment. We love entire Shrek movie. Shout out to the email editor. So this is definitely messenger stuff, if this is air elemental skyland. I don't think this is the city in the clouds, but I don't know. And I just remembered I need to do this. Let me get this shit over with real quick. I gotta read lore. I killed a huge spider earlier. This is a common W. It was the size of my palm. Oh, holy fuck! That's miserable. Um, what the fuck? Do you know what kind of spider it was? Jesus. Like a fucking wolf spider or something? Story unlocked. Clockwork Castle. <clears throat> I don't know where it came from. Oh, that's good. Oh, I gotta read more. Alright, story time. But that fucking was slow. That fucker was slow moving and wide. Interesting. This music is so off. No, I'm not fucking crazy. This shit is so whacked in my ears. It is so deep. The pitch is so wrong. What the fuck is going on? This is... Oh, man. This is gonna bother me the whole fucking stream. I don't know what's up. Countless millennia ago, two powerful alchemists named Rashan and Airful set out to create the elixir of life and succeeded. As all things in alchemy came at a price, the gift of immortality caused their bodies to decay, leading them to conceal their hideousness under colorful robes. Reveling at first in the bright side of their immortal coil, they spent centuries nurturing the world and creating wonders to inspire its mortals. Its dead body is smeared all over a toaster box now, though, so it's all okay. Why haven't you cleaned it up? What the hell? I don't want that shit hanging around. I want to fucking kill it and get it the hell out. Over time, however... Airfall grew increasingly jealous of the ephemerality he would ever taste again. I mean, it's a box. Yeah, that's true, I guess. But, like, is it a box that's gonna be hanging around? Or are you gonna, like, recycle it or some shit? Because if you're gonna recycle it, then that makes sense. It does not really do anything with it. I'll crush the box down and chuck it at some point. I just don't don't want it to perhaps be alive when I handle the box. Gotcha. Well, what if it's not fucking dead right now? Never know. Over time, however, Airfall grew increasingly jealous of the f ephemerality he would never taste again. Thus began his wicked journey into the forbidden schools of alchemy, a journey which would see every last bit of good in his heart dissipate, as he experimented with soul, bone, flesh, and blood alike. As they would have it, Aerofull fully embraced evil and emerged as the Fleshmancer, a vengeful immortal plaguing the world with his monstrous creations. Shan tried intervening as best he could, but all that ensued was unspeakable chaos and collateral damage as the two former friends fought with godlike powers. I'm 99% sure it's dead, but just in case. <laughs> just hit it a few more times. 
After much struggle, Rashawn discovered the flesh minion's only weaknesses to be solar and lunar magic, a power bestowed upon those born during a solstice. Began training these children to be a what? Began training these children to become solstice warriors, singu singularly tasked with culling the numbers of, of the flesh monster's creations. But Errorful's knowledge was also growing. Eventually, he became capable of creating oddities of unlimited potential known as dwellers. Can't wait to try out this new toaster. I'm going to be eating so much toast. Fuck yeah. I haven't had toast in a while. Probably because my toaster has just been busted for a while. That... It's probably the reason <laughs> I haven't had any want to attempt to make toast. It would be impervious to all forms of magic, except during a total eclipse, when Solstice Warriors would have a very short window to attempt taking them down. And dwellers, it turned out, were creatures in development feeding on local life. If their own device to, uh, left to their own device for too long, they would evolve into world eaters, spelling doom for all. And with knowledge and power, Solstice Warriors would patrol the world, tracking dwellers to determine which would, should be taken down during the next eclipse. They remain vigilant. There would never be a world eater, but Roshan knew such a stalemate would only cause Aerofold to devise something even worse. In a desperate attempt to get ahead, Roshan boldly performed transmutation alchemy on the very space-time continuum itself. After successfully splitting reality into countless timelines and parallel worlds, he shelved his alchemy vial and took up the mantle of Archivist. What the fuck? On an endless journey across all realities, he would catalog every possible outcome in search of a resolution to the throes of the Fleshmancer. Oh, shit. Meanwhile, Airful rejoiced at the infinite number of opportunities for, for destruction that had just opened up to him. To find some measure of peace amidst their immortal conflicts, the two alchemists made a pact to let the fate of each timeline play out on its own. And so the game of Cat and Mouse began. Played by Dwellers and Solstice Warriors on one level, and by Roshan and Aerofull on another. Across a myriad of timelines and over in numerous centuries, some worlds would never be visited by Aerofull, while others would be cursed by his mark. Once marked, it was only a matter of time until the world met its finality, often following centuries of, a, of struggle. Each would either be destroyed by a World Eater, or permanently saved by the ascension of a pair of Solstice Warriors and a Guardian Gods. Like strawberry jam? Ooh. Strawberry jam sounds good. Usually I just do grape jam, but. Strawberry jam kind of sounds like it would hit the spot right now. Even though I just ate. And now strawberry jam by itself. <laughs> and toast. Each would either be destroyed by a world eater or permanently saved by the ascension of a pair of solstice warriors and a guardian gods. That's when Roshan plans on re recomposing. It's just not that hard of a word. The timelines, or whether he even knows how, remains to be seen. The end. Wow. Story. Other story. Buffer Castle. When Aerofull first arrived in our realm, he brought with him a group of kid geniuses. Stories are, are to be believed, Sale and his friends had struck a deal with him to free their people. In the Fleshmaster's new base of operations, they would toil away, creating machines for obscure uses in realms unknown. Ugh. Such a base had yet to be built, so it was always Aerofull set out to locate the best collaborator there was to be found. He needed someone morally neutral, for it was execution he desired, not competition. With his new lair, he would prove himself superior to Rashawn by building a castle that would control time within itself. The watchmaker was the perfect fit. She was only interested in her craft, and otherwise had no interest in Aerofull's... ...machinations. That doesn't... Ugh. All she asked for in return was a workshop of her own, which she could be left to her devices. The deal was struck, and together they designed the Clockwork Castle. The watchmaker began drafting schematics for the kids to start production on, while she'd handle the more intricate parts herself. Meanwhile, Aerofull enchanted countless cogs and bricks giving them an aura of magic that none could understand. Destruction was almost complete when Sale and his crew made their move. 
One night, they flipped exactly the right cog so that once the castle's perpetual movement was activated, its core function would backfire. Two toasted bagels? I've, I don't... It's been a while since I've had something like that. But that doesn't sound that bad either. One night, they flipped exactly the right cogs. I already read that, you idiot. They had no goal in mind other than foiling the Flushmancer's plans. In that respect, they succeeded soundly. What came with the sabotage was that time now came to a halt within the Clockwork Castle, or rather within its inhabitants. And they had played their trick so well that Aerofold didn't even know they'd done it on purpose. There'd be no impressing Rashawn this time, but he could definitely see some upsides to a workshop that operated forever. His final touch, he ensured that any mortal leaving the castle would see themselves age instantly by the amount of time they'd spent inside. Upon completion, Aerofold locked everyone inside for a century, ensuring that the Watchmaker and the children could never leave, lest they die instantly of old age. The Watchmaker thought nothing of it, and relished the opportunity to focus on her craft for an eternity. Yet, in this time prison, Sale and his friends would have to work day and night. Proud of having done the right thing, it seems they are at peace with their situation. Perhaps getting to be kids forever helps, in a way. From day one, they would always deliver, while adding just the right amount of breakage to give the Fleshmancer countless headaches without raising suspicion. One can only feel gratitude when <clears throat> contemplating the suffering that's been delayed, or even prevented, thanks to their cunning game of wasting Aerofold's time. The end. Oh, lore. Okay, we're done with lore now. Yippee, holy. Long button. Oh, it sounds off. Alright, Cloud Kingdom. Is there gonna be like a banshee enemy here? Oh, it's like I can jump down there. This is pretty. Um, yeah. Hi. Oh, he's just a fucking massive villager. Okay, so it's not even that important. Small visitors, did Luana mend the connection at last? Oh man. Oh my gosh. How do you guys sleep? Little ones, are you going to meet the council? If so I wish you luck. That can be very difficult. What the fuck is this? Oh man. I can see you, don't worry. What's this? Whoa! Hold out of there, I'm the local craftsman. Some of the smaller jewels I create should be just your size. Wanna take a look? Oh my gosh. Cloud Sword sounds famous. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I just have so many red berries. Sword. Chest. True silver daggers. Very nice. Very cool, very cool, very cool. Love the messenger teleporting. Oh shit, this is where I need to go. What the fuck, man? Who demands audience? Oh, that's like a thing. Who demands audience? Present yourself. Ahem. I'm the one demanding audience. You can 
he oh why are there so many ah bugs buzzing around me in my room what the hell we can hear you just fine no need to shout oops name girl title what title title is a warrior cook Luana? Huh. Blah, 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 blah. Warrior Cook. It is our understanding that you are on borrow time. I am, and I have a request. And speak. It's for my friends here. I want you to grant them access to the Sea of Stars. Mumble mumble. Do you understand what you are asking of us? Absolutely. And who will vouch for you? Vouch? I don't know, I thought we could just... I will. <laughs> mumble, 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 mumble. Great Eagle, you honor us with your presence. Interesting. Tell us then, do they possess the key? Yes, they have reclaimed the, the Vespertine. Do they possess the strength? Yes, Luana and Solon have awoken. Their wish is to accept this final gift from their friend and complete their journey. Do they possess the will? Sarai. How did she get here? Who is Sarai? If each time Sarai... It's important. They're just like, oh, do you, you got like a, you're kind of important. Like every single big character now is like, holy shit, you. <laughs> How'd you get here? Determination. Mumble, mumble. We deem this group of travelers satisfactory. This leaves only the matter of the deed. What does the warrior cook intend to offer in exchange for his friend's passage? You have a plan. Well, what do you propose? I will wake the sleeper. You would bring total destruction to this world? What makes you believe we would accept such a proposition? Don't worry, I'll make it friendly again. Elder Miss once told me that I might sue the long tormented soul. This is what he meant, I'm certain of it. Mumble, mumble. That is a tall order. What is your plan? The runes in the moorlands. I wasn't sure at first, but now I know what they meant. The runes in the moorlands? <gasps> oh! There are no more ovates. How, then? I will complete the ritual of the elements by cooking with them. Possible. What is his ass saying? Mumble, mumble. We agree to entertain your plan. How will you use water? Magic dew to instantly grow the crops I'll need. See, monsters are extinct. Magic dew will not, will not manifest without an enchanted skill. Don't worry, I know just the place to find one. How about fire, then? Natural heat from the volcano without a name. Preposterous. The lava monster would kill you instantly. It's okay, my friends are pretty strong. Earth? The volcano will be terraformed by magic so I can use its summit as a giant oven to bake my creation. I suppose you know just the wizard? Sure do, and that volcano will f finally have a name. Kiln Mountain. Push your luck, kid. Mumble Mumble. Mumble Mumble. We like the name. That leaves the final element. How does wind come into play? We'll capture Zephyl in a bottle. Uh, my creation is complete. I will let it carry the scent to the, sleeper to the sleeper's nostrils. Why do you require a volcano-sized oven? Because I will bake the biggest loaf of bread the world has ever seen. <laughs> humble mumble. What makes you believe that it will be enough to make the sleeper friendly again? <laughs> Brethia, you should have seen when I first entered this area, dude. <laughs> it was all fucking feet. <laughs> That's all you saw were feet and legs, man. Oh, come on, no one can be grumpy when they wake up to the smell of freshly baked bread. 
This area is whack. Mumble mumble. Mumble mumble. We find no valid counter argument. If you can truly soothe the sleeper, we will grant your friends access to the Sea of Stars. The volcano is now open. You also need this. Wind key. Right on. Good job up there, girl. Um, that's the name of the game. Yeah, they dropped it, like, twice yesterday. Towards the end. After the fucking, uh, dweller fight. And then, like, so much lore went down. <laughs> they, they mentioned the name of the game just so much. Yeah, that went well. I've never seen the council so easily swayed. Okay, let's go back and plan this whole thing. What are we doing? I don't know what we're doing. What are we doing? I don't know what we're doing. All I know is I gotta go to the volcano. Oh, we can warp now. Hey, what's your name? Punty. Why do you ask? Great, one sec. Alright, I don't have a lot of time, so we should split up. <laughs> Look at those huge feet. Oh. All I'm saying. What? I'm staying with you. There's no time. Just trust me, okay? I'm in charge of Earth, anyway. No danger on my path. Where is that? Remember Malcolmud? Oh, dude, I can't remember names. Malcolmud. Yes. I promised you would come around if a good deed demanded his magic. Think you can terraform a volcano? Yep, plus the design I have in mind is pretty straightforward. Anyway, Zale, you're in charge of air. West of here is a skyland. You, I know what the fuck that is! So here's a skyland you can access using the wind key they gave us. Find Zephyr and bottle it up. Consider it done. Well, there you've got fire. That doesn't make sense. Go through the volcano and defeat the lava monster, and then we can redirect the heat and terraform the summit into a giant kiln. Got it. Sarai, that leaves water. After dropping Valer off at the volcano, get Hortense to take you back to the Sea of Nightmare. But please don't kill Hydralian. We only need one scale. Oh! That thing! I know what... Okay. Okay. Once you have the scale, just take it to Teeks and Mirth. The villagers will come together to grow and harvest the crops. Get as much as you can on the Vespertine and meet us at the volcano. Well, that'll, that'll be Kill Mountain by then, I guess. Understood. So first, those who will use the boat. Valerian Sarai, please stand in front of Punta here. What about me? Oh, I... Well, I assumed you weren't allowed to help. I see a chest in the bottom left of the screen. I don't have it. This matter isn't really to a dweller. I am free to choose. Uh, okay. Well, the four elements are assigned, but I guess you can join one of the teams. Won't be any danger on my path, though, so who else do you want to help? All three. Oh! This guy is good. Okay, Blair, now say Kukar. Kukar? Holy shit! Pretty cool, huh? Wild that girl just kind of knows everything right now. Alright, Zale, I'll see you over at Kill Mountain once we have everything. Stay safe, girl. You bet. Cough, cough. I'm alright, don't worry. Next door. Neat. Skyland is west of this village, lead the way. Oh, wait, what? Okay, it's not exactly what I thought. Okay, more lore, yippee. I thought we were gonna have to go... Here. Oh, we have unlocked more of the map. That is cool. 
did not think that was gonna be a thing we're doing. But alright. Alright. Hold on one second. Yes, the entrance, idiot. Alright. I'm so confused right now, but let's let's do it. Air Elemental Skyland. What was that sound effect? Oh, these blue things. What is this music? This is more messenger. <sighs> it's so slowed down. Big bean burrito. Big bean burrito. It's a full is in there, but we'll need something that can shatter the crystal. Let's let's explore a bit. What? Fuck are you? I miss. Dumbass. Fuck. Oh. What's going on? Welcome back. How you doing? Please take my money, sir. We just did the, um, Cloud Kingdom stuff, where Garl, ha Garl had to talk to the three people, uh, the council or whatever, and then now everyone is split up. Also, the battle music still sounds weird to me. I'm not fucking crazy. Something's up with me today. Everything's, all the pitches are fucked up. <laughs> I swear I'm not crazy. Oh, I don't have health now. Damn it. Right now we're trying to do the forget the air not the air elemental but Zif Freer I don't remember how to fucking say his name. What now how do I do this? I guess I could do that. I don't know. Yeah, you're getting Zephyr. Zephyr. That makes more sense. I'm really cool at not knowing how to pronounce things. Damn it. Okay, I'm figuring out how to do that now. Robledo. Oh man, chill out. Right? Yeah. But yeah, now I'm just so, so fucking confused on things. Because <laughs> now we're all splitting up and doing this stuff. To make it a giant loaf of bread or something. Which is interesting. Mirror stuff. We are so gonna have to backtrack to that one island that has just all the mirrors. What are you confused about? Just story stuff. It's so all, it's just everywhere right now. Cause now it's like, oh yeah, Garl was gonna fucking die, and now he just knows how to get access to the Sea of Stars. Which I mean, I understand all that now that happened. It's just like, oh my god. 
It's so much. I'm trying to keep up with everything. So you're making a giant loaf of bread. So what when the sleeper wakes up? That it doesn't what? So you're making a giant loaf of bread. So what when the sleeper wakes up? That it doesn't go bad. I think it's to wake it up. Period. But yeah, I guess. Yeah, they have to all split up before Garl dies. Yeah. It'd be confused as hell if I had eight days of story to remember. Yeah, that's fair. And this- oh! What are you? Why are you- What the fuck? I'm shaking your ass at me, man. What was that? Stop! Because he doesn't wake up to a load of bread and be happy. No, he's got a good point. I show three-year-old logic. <laughs> Dude, but the bread smells so good. I don't know what you are talking about. Oh, that's the AOE damage. I get it now. Pebble arc. Fuck you. Here, shout out to Brad. That shit is good. Brad never misses. <laughs> uh, we're gonna die. Fucker. Do not kill him! You can't do that! Oh, we're gonna be dead. I didn't. I don't, okay. Great. Okay, Rashawn's fucking dead. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but food is one of the fastest ways to make me happy, so I get it. I can see it. Erm, um, you are meant to die. I'm trying my fucking best out here. Watch this though, we're gonna kill them all right here. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh shit! Hey, it, I, I mean it worked. I didn't kill them all, but I actually hit it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Fucking back sale. Think of it like Fall Guys. Okay, so I hate the game. <laughs> so I put 1,600 hours into Sea of Stars and I hate it. <laughs> we're thinking like Fall Guys now. <laughs> There we go. Hey, at least you figured the timing out. Yeah. You need to murder, brutal murder, very violent. Yeah, the timing I did not get for a long time, and I guess I just. It just clicked. The funny thing is, I totally would have gotten the full playthrough and not have figured that out. That would totally be a thing I could do. A little bit of a puzzle. That's a rock. Okay. Zale and Rashawn learned combo skill can conflagrate. I always keep, keep going to equipment. Flagrate. Arcane and solar magic damage. Multi hit. Three cost. Wow. Okay, then perhaps think of it like Mario Kart has said, cause fatal crashes. Okay, I can do that, I can do that. I must, I must calculate my... I must calculate my moves so that I can dodge the blue shell. It'll work. Yippee! Cypress core. Seeming like you do not want to stay up at all and go have all. Wait, what? Oh. But oh no.
There we go. Light. Interesting. Holy, we're flying. Whoa, what's up, guys? I can't stop that attack. So, yeah, it's scary already. I'm okay. Crazy. I pulled them together all right. Is it going to be worth it though? I can't even tell who's is who's. Please deal just so much damage to everyone. Well, I mean, okay, Mel. Oh man. Yes. And this is why this is a thing. Cannot perfect time that though. That's awesome. Max combo. Um this is the only thing we can do, so let's go for it. Steer fire column with okay. I'm holding it. Whoa! I'm trying to. Oh, it certainly works. Um, didn't know I was charging a sunball though. Or did I even have control over that? I'm not sure. Interesting. Well, I guess I'll try to hold down when I do that combo next time. Hated this part and not being able to see the enemy details and not being able to switch equipment to do so. Yeah. It kind of sucks when, like, just enemy HP that you just have on a character. It's like, oh yeah, no, it doesn't exist anymore. So, that, so this is only one character that has access to... All that knowledge now. I think I had an empty slot. I'm, I think was it Rashawn? Yeah. Oh, it was Rashawn. <laughs> so Problem solved. You aren't charging it. Ninety percent sure. Okay. Interesting. That would make sense, especially considering the damage output. Output was so very good. Oh, hey, look at that! I can see. I can see health now. Wow, isn't it crazy how that works? Yeah, I completely forgot. I did not think it was Rashawn until I started thinking about it. <laughs> Very nice. Best person to have it on, too. Yeah. I forget where... I think it's Garl. Oh, shit. I probably should take it off Garl. Um... I would like to think the game is just not going to strip me of all of the items that are on Garl when he dies, but at the same time, just to be safe, I probably should make sure. I think Garl has the OP one, where it's see enemy HP, see their weaknesses, and see uh, the, the strengths and weaknesses, or whatever. Hexagonal slab. Interesting. I love the blue messenger crystals. Okay, that's all there is to this area. Oh, I gotta go back, I guess. I don't, I don't think you gain control of, Car of Garl again. Probably not. So I'm gonna assume all of that equipment that's on him is just gonna be lost. 
Oh, you mean before the end of the game, is what you're saying. Ooh, let's hope... I, I think this is a bad game design decision if they don't give that shit back. So I think, I think that would make sense. So I forgot I have that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh wait, no, I, I forget, this just shows everything, even if someone's using it, I think. Right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Huh, well, it would be a stupid game design decision if we didn't get that stuff back. And that would be an 888 coin item that I would be losing if I do not get Garl's shit back. If I don't get his, like, weapons and armor, that makes sense, because it's specific to him. But I better get everything else. Um... Right. Wrong button. Okay, I'm actually going insane. Now the pitch to that sounds fine. Something's up with me. This is, uh, this is cool. Alright, next got all slide up. We do that. Hmm? Whoa. Neat. Yeah. Assassin's pen. Uh, huh, where is it? Right there. Whoa. Minus 20 defense plus attack plus 10. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I was so distraught with his death that I didn't even pay attention to his items, lol. Oh boy. Can't wait for the game to just get really emotional again. Really shouldn't do that, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, you have cape. What is this music? Is this where I want to be right now? music is so damn familiar to me. I cannot tell what it is. It's annoying me. Ow. I want to change the music. If you want to change the music a little, then change it to night. I completely forgot that songs are just like different depending on their night time. I, I always think it's only for the battle thing. I always forget. I do want to hear the nighttime version of this song now. Not too early. Wow. That's neat. Really funny how the messenger pretty much made like almost every single song in the game have two versions. And they just did the exact same shit with this game, but in a different way. That's so funny. What's over there? Oh, we're gonna find out. Um, what is this? Wow, I'm so glad I did that, huh? It's a nice touch, yeah. Really makes you feel like they put a lot of attention to this game. Just stuff like that. It's very nice. Okay, this is clearly going to be a spot we need to go across now. Oh, I thought that was something I could get on to. Fucking depth perception. 
but cool. Um... Oh, wait a minute. I can cancel your... Oh, which one am I canceling? You. Interesting. That's a pretty open window to do that attack, too. Wow. Dash just sword and fire damage too. Yeah, I just didn't want to waste the MP. I didn't think I could. Hit, I would even be able to do that though, because I thought the um, arcane singularity or the black hole thing, which I um, was only going to deal one arcane damage. Didn't realize it was just going to do two. That caught me a little off guard. Oh, no grappling hook. Walking. Boring. What is that? What is this? Oh, that's a... Um, that's a bug, for sure. Something's not right there. That's, a, that's one of the bunny enemies. I think it's a three procs. Huh. Interesting. sake of game damage. Ah, shit. Ooh, that is good. in this fight. Oh, boy. Shit. Well. I'm not blocking a damn thing, so. Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 4. Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 4 Last Resort. Yeah, you're so real for that. I do this. Do I do this? I do this. Sean would not die. He's simply too strong. Don't go, Sean. Don't go, Sean. That'll work. Okay. Um, this is a little sketchy. We're just gonna do this. I can't do a single- I'm too fucking tired to be playing this game. Very nice. Ugh. Oh, that last one just is 
different each time. Good. Um, I'm so glad. Oh, what? What's the other one that's resistant? Fucking shit. Stop fucking shooting him! Yeah, it's just that default thing. Okay. Oh, it's so uncontrollable. Wait. Okay. What's that? Gotcha. Guys, where's the key? I don't know where I need to put the key. That's what you call a funny call callback. I almost said a comeback. Oh. That's your cave. Alright, we do this. We then do. That. Yeah, we do that. Um. Square hole. That's right, you put it in a square hole. Oh, I, see. I get it. successfully fit the square into the square hole. Along with the rectangle, the oval, the s no, the star wouldn't fit. The star would probably be too big. Hey, it looks like we're gonna figure out how to destroy those blue things now that we're here. Considering there's a blue thing blocking the path. Oh my god. Wow, I can't wait to cook when I'm done with all this shit. It's a little low. Oh, man. Oh, Rashad, remember the really cool thing you have called Petricore? I always feel so accomplished when you get a puzzle actually fast. <laughs> Yeah, after what happened last stream, <laughs> I can't blame you. <laughs> I've, n I've not shown my prowess. I just showed how stupid I was. <laughs> Sketchy, but only one person is gonna attack. So it should be good. Well, <laughs> holy shit. Okay, well, 
Well, shit. Um... There we go. What happened to the game? Oh, what the fuck? Okay, we're good now. The game significantly dropped frames. For... No reason that I know of. Well, from 75 to like 40. That was very noticeable. What What was that? <laughs> okay. Um, interesting. That was... Odd. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm just not paying attention to the resistant effects. He thinks you die. He thinks you both die. How's the game telling you to make up your fucking mind with what food to eat? <laughs> Yeah, I can be a little decider sometimes. Wow! A blue crystal to break the blue crystals. The messenger's destroyer thingy! Yeah, dude, this is. Highly refined crystal. Its ener energy matches the one containing Zephyr. It be used to break the other one. Without a doubt, but it won't budge. So if I extract the essence and frequency. Zell, do you have any magic item with a proper handle? Hmm. How about the coral hammer? Let's see it. Here, this will work. Thanks for sharing. Oh! Cobalt hammer! That's cool. The coral hammer has been upgraded. You can now break blue crystals with it. Sick. Neat. Now we go backwards. That's a neat area, but I'm glad I'm done with it. <laughs> Not excited to see what the Valer fight's gonna be like, but at least Roshan, or Roshan's is gonna be in everything. 25 hours on the save file. Not sure how... I've played less. Like, somewhat significantly less than Steam hours. Go ball timer! Hey, what's up, guy? So how do we capture wind? Leave it to me. That simple. It's a press then. The others are okay. I swear there was another blue wall in that area that I needed to destroy. But it's too late now because we're all the way back here. I just throw this pearl into the water where you fought Stormcaller. Immaculate pearl. And here's a little something f for the fight. Best of luck. So Ryan Rashan learned combo skill Arcane Barrage. Interesting. Multiple arcane hits on a single target that also delays its turn. Alright. Interesting. Forgot I can't go up there. Hmm. Uh, you should be healed, but just in case. It's the area from the mole village that's blue crystal. Yeah, I know about that. 
But I thought in the area that we just went to. I thought there was another one. But in my mind, may have just been playing tricks on me. Immaculate Pearl. Okay, here goes nothing. He's a little big. Alright, um... Oh, I forgot. Technically. Right. Will this? It will. Oh, that's another thing. What? Okay. Good to know. No dodging that. Uh, I really only do this to try to decrease it. Actually, wait a minute. Still do not think that is enough. We have a two. Hmm. But delay is only gonna do one that I need. Yeah, okay, so we're just. I fucking failed. Already? Oh, that is upsetting. Well, I remember how to perfect attack, but, um. Ouch. This power is 100% no matter what you do, though, anyway. Um. Uh, if you leave one. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Combo is now maxed. Oh, uh, okay. Multiple arcane hits on a single target. Hmm. Interesting. I suppose we'll go ahead and do it. Let's face the kick. Interesting. That. That also delays its turn. I missed that part until I looked back at the boss and saw his turn counter. Interesting. Hmm. You are not playing this game. Sorry, man. You have plenty of time to use your chance all yeah. Random lock on the target, that's sure is helpful. There's not even really a point of using spells currently. 
just... You are never going to attack, man. It's hurt, poor guy. And ultimate. Oh, but I forgot fucking Rashans is better. I keep forgetting how better how much better Rashans is. Oh well. We'll be fine. Also, it's kind of funnier having a pirate be pirate. Because <laughs> it's technically pirate related. Because it was with the, um. Oh, fuck. Uh. Stormcaller. Or. Stor oh, what was his name? There's too many names. The dude. <laughs> Oh, see, it was fine. It worked out. <laughs> That's funny. Poor guy. Oh, right. The scale will produce magic dew. Let's go back to Mirth. Time for the Great Harvest. Alright, two out of three done. We are moving. Oh! That's cool. I didn't even think about this. Oh, so this was the vision of, like, the this mountain. When we were, like, going through Garl's visions or whatever. Interesting. So what are the shafts for? Oh, there's going to be a whole lot of wheat. You see, if we just drop it all in there, and it should get ground up on its way down and leave us with flour at the bottom. Riding on about... Grinding on volcanic stone? Yep, we're feeding a fire breather here. It's a big challenge. I don't know if I can do this. But I will try for you. Thanks, Malcolm Hood. That's all I can ask. Malcolm Hood's cool. I forgot about Malcolm Hood. The name makes more sense now. So we go now. Yeah, Valer will have cleared the volcano by the time we get there. Oh boy. Boss fight number two! Volcano's been opened. I'll clear the place so Garl and Malcolm can build their thing. Right behind you. Funny if people just haven't, or like certain players have not gone to Basalt Island yet. They're just confused as to where they are right now. <laughs> Ooh. I like the music of this area already. Ooh, this music's sick. Whoa, little guys. Firecracker. I like them. This music's sick. Shoot. Yeah, this area is fucking cool. Oh, they're dying. I see. This music's fucking awesome. I like this a lot. Looks like I can go through there. Deeper in we go. Oh, this music's so cool. What the fuck? This music's... Yeah, I'm... This is going in the playlist when I finish this game. Make me a staff. This is cool. 
Like, holy shit, this is probably the only time we're gonna be in this area, I would imagine. And they just produced a complete banger. We're not going to be able to kill him in 83. I think I try to get this guy down. And it worked! guys are like, they just get low enough, they immediately go into that state. I suppose that would make sense. It's so pretty. I think I probably could walk past them. Maybe. They seem to be more like, um, oh, I'm tired. Doing XP from them when they self-destruct, sadly? Oh. I guess there's the trade-off. At least I was able to kill one of them. Sick, what the hell? Nice. Um, we're just gonna do this. Level up. <laughs> it's gonna make me level up Garl, dude. Oh, oh I don't wanna think about that. Ooh. Okay, not next out on that. Yep, Garl. Poor guy. You you take more strength into your afterlife. Just cruel little yeah, it really is. Attack attack, more hit points. Defense is good, that could maybe go up. Good mana. Sean. Yeah, points are good. Points are good. Mm. 
Oh, I took defense. Oh my gosh. This music is too high tempo for me to be this tired. Give me some new messenger stuff and I'll pop off and then I'll just get a burst of energy and be able to go for six more hours. something yeah we got a yeah very nice not entirely sure we like oh right there somehow that blended into the environment very cool I thought all of these were enemies when I first got down here. But I didn't know what else they could be. are just going up and up and up. Well, this seems to, never mind. Hey guys, what's up? You are going to explode. I don't want you to do that, man. Brush their so shoulders off as if they just like are the hardest fight of their lives. Big area. Whoa, not what I expected. And I have no MP from the other fight. Goofy. Always gonna explode when they are blinking. Oh, do not attack Flare. Oh, shoot. Oh, I should have cooked before I came in here. Oh, shit. Someone's about to die. Don't go for me. Oh, shit. Maybe I should have attacked the other guy just to be safe. Oh, my. Ow. This, um, sucks a little. Okay. I suppose. Oh, good. Ah, the fucking timing. Hey, fine, you got this? Yeah. It's really not that bad. It's more just uh, I'm getting my ass handed to me. Oh, man. No, we're not doing that. Right. Oh my 
my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ba 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 da da ba ba da da. Um, you're about high up there, so we're not gonna. Wait a minute. No, that wouldn't stop that. Well, I mean... Oh, you see, you're about to die by the same... Now, let's just do it. Yeah. Combo, yeah. It's built up a little bit. I didn't want to use them the locks were out because it felt pointless. Wild amount of damage. Whoops. Well, that worked out well. Quay for you to beat the game today. Yeah, yeah. You know we're in the final hour, right? We're about to be done. There won't be more. Whoa, little guy. What is up there? I do not know, but I need to go up there. He's, so, he's too tired to be today. No. I'm so awake. Uh, I'm just here to hear you cry. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Fucker. Does this mean he's close to beating it, or are you just saying that? <laughs> You're gonna be a fucking sleeper agent after this shit. You're gonna hear the fucking battle theme and just lose your shit. <laughs> In any other time, for any reason, you hear any fucking song from this game, you go ape shit. Secrets. Magic pocket. The first item used during a round won't spend the character's turn. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Not gonna use it. <laughs> Wait, is that during a round, not a fight, a round? That's really good. Hey, you messed it up. There you go. Shout out to the chat overlay for not being able to display that emote. So this doesn't show on screen. Yeah, I'm. I've just decided I'm switching chat overlays. I'm not gonna bother doing it until I'm just done with the playthrough, though, because then it's just gonna make the fucking supercut weird. I thought Magic Pocket was really good. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna util utilize it if I get like stuck on a fight, but. For now, we're good. I mean, what do I have right now? HP. Party members recover 1 MP when they time a block. Okay. 90% of the super cat people sing words for emotes they can't see. Yeah. You do make a good point. Because all the fucking new ones, like, if, when you fucking add them, that stream, they're just not there really cool. 
Carl was just at our outpost and mentioned you'd be coming. I came after grabbing what I could. Do you need anything? Oh. That? Wow, you're ripping me off, man. I need to make some food. I'm glad I looked at that. Alright. It's super good viewers. This is what the punishment of God on the believe unbelieving mortals is. <laughs> This is such a cool song. This game's so good. Perfect, we're pretty good on. Party. Two of these. Oh, I can't wait for there to probably be an achievement of like, cook all the foods in the game or something. So there may very well be, and I think there actually is. And I can't wait to have to, like, cook all this other shit that I've just never fucking used. Wait, don't save yet, idiot. Rest. This one song of the warrior cook. There is one. Have you not talked to Cheeks in the ship? She has the achievement book. Yeah, I think I saw that achievement, but I just can't remember. But now, like when I started talking about it, I'm like, I really hope there isn't, but now that I'm starting to talk about it, I think there is. Uh, did we just go through the ground there? Weird. Oh, I love a monster. It's literally a tiny volcano. This is our target? Yes. You're so key. You're something. You're something. Please don't let there be a separate boss theme. It'll be vulnerable to your lunar magic. Good. No! Okay, but this is a. a we, have, we have not heard this. Just the main boss fight song in a while, though. But damn it, I want to hear more of the lava area. This boss theme is so much less used than I thought it would be. I thought I was going to hear a lot more in this game. It's just surprising. Oh, oh, oh. oh hello, how are you? <laughs> the final boss! This is it! What's gonna happen if I do this? My curiosity. What? Oh, fuck you, man. Like, dump him in the water, or the water, the lava or something. That'd be cool. Uh, I cannot do that. You guys are gonna explode. You're not? Okay, so the blinking on the firecrackers just means nothing. Interesting. Well, now they're doing it. Tremor. Hey man, gotta stop that. Oh good, he's doing another attack. At least that's an easy one mana whenever they explode, though. Very true. Yeah, they're not really that hard to do anything against. 
It, it's literally just time your fall. It's not really that tight of a window. So I'm so fine with it. Then it's all... I wait. I wait on that. Am I gonna go under? Yes. Ooh. Perfect time to do that, I believe. Yeah. Ah, oh, not good enough though. Um, I guess I have to do this too. Oh well. Ah, too early. Setting. Tremor. Oh, it just, like, hits everyone, huh? That's interesting. So maybe it's a good thing to just keep the guys on the sides alive. Ah, uh, sh yes. Okay, so each one of those does... Okay, interesting. No boosts. Those boosts would be able to stop the attack. Upsetting. This is a little sketchy, actually. Ooh, yeah. Okay, we can do that again. Max. This. Oh! I suddenly want to heal for no particular reason at all. Ah, fuck. Um. Huh. This comment's gonna give you ultimate though. Yeah. It's gonna do that. We just do this. Um, a little scary though, because it's about to be a tremor. Okay, Rashawn tanked everything. Um, it's still kind of sketchy. All targets, okay. I'll make sure. Shit. Don't do something stupid. Huh? Why are you over there? What? Why are you shaking your ass at Rashawn? What was that? Okay. Um. You. Ultimate. Don't panic, it's the final boss. <laughs> Great Eagle! This one's just also so much cooler than the Pirate Attack. That is insane how much HP you get out of that, too. Holy shit. I guess I need to stop with this. Okay. Well, dude is messed up right now, so we're close. I 
Yeah, I think we were close. Hodakano defeated. We won! Thanks for the help, Rashawn. Naturally. Now to wait for the others. Time to make some bread. Holy. And so we must come together for his final wish. For Garl. For Garl. That's me. Minecraft logic. <laughs> <laughs> your your ass is not balancing those hay bales. <laughs> Good job, everyone. That their hold that their hold be full to the brim. Valiant effort. It's time to set sail. All aboard. Wait for me. Oh, Teeks is coming with. Oh, well, I guess if, she, if the boat's gonna go, Teeks will be coming with, I suppose. Come out. Totally, and the face on Zale, too. Ha ha ha. Carl, do you think. Zale. So you got Zephyr? Right here. How about Malcolmud? He's still working on it. We'll need time anyway. Lots of crops in the Vespertine. Right. Let's all go and... Ugh. Girl. I'm okay, Blair. Just need a moment here. Yeah. You take it easy, okay? We'll carry the crops. But... You're right. That's probably best. Take care of it. You spend some time with your friend. I thank you, Sarai. She's just gonna like, yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> That's one way to. Oh, poor girl. Try a real one. She a real one for causing girl's death. <laughs> Although I do wonder what the hell would have happened if, you know, all that shit didn't happen, because there's a very good chance the World Eater would have just, or well, no, that's not technically a World Eater. Wait, it, was it? Fuck this story, man. <laughs> but it would have fucked up the world a lot. Anyway, take it easy, girl. Wow, this really hurts. I hope I'll be able to, we're with you no matter what. We didn't come this far for nothing. I'll see this through. Ahmed! I think I have finished. Little guy. Yeah, are you happy with the result? What do you ask? I did for you. Well, are you happy you did it for me? Yes, but I hope you like. I'm sure he will, Ahmed. I remember you. You can look too. Yes. Yes, yes. The crops go up there, chuck them in. Flour fills up here for the mixing. Oh my gosh, the wind guys. <laughs> A little kneading, bring it up there, knead some more, let it sit with the heat, and. Good job, Makamut, it's perfect. I only follow your plan. Guys, this is going to be huge. Can we help? Of course. Very neat. This is still making me sad. 
All right, Malcolm, time for the heat. Perfection. Now we let it bake. It comes and goes. Like right now, I feel just fine. Share one, one more. Let's just share more memories, okay? It's all I want. Final cinematic game is finally over. If you ask how it's hot enough to bake bread, but they're all just chilling. Yeah. I don't know. They're using Zephyr to redirect the heat or something. I don't know. Oh, I know. Remember when I brought you cookies while you were at the academy? Yeah, you never told us how you managed to make the flying platform move. With a monocle. Uh-huh. Was it a magic monocle? Oh no, I used it to focus and lay directly onto the room. Made sense, so I just went for it and it worked. The beam wasn't very strong, though. It must have taken hours. It sure did. Eight, in fact. Holy. Uh-huh, no way. Yep. Well, eight hours of sunlight, to be exact. That's excluding the night I spent halfway up in the air. How'd you not get caught? Oh, I got caught, but I was already out of reach by the time Grant saw me. I wish I could have seen her face. Believe me, I wish I hadn't. Ha ha ha. Bread! That's a big thing of bread. And then... Ugh, ugh. Girl, I'm... My time's almost up. Don't say that. I have to... have to finish this. Blair, please tell Malcolm to cut the lava flow. Got sale. I need Zephyr now. Here. This works. Is it just blowing the scent? Or the whole ass bread? It's looking like the scent. Oh no, this right. Okay. It's taking me a little bit. <laughs> he's awake. And he's not evil. <laughs> Meanwhile, everyone at Brisk is like, What the fuck? The dragon's moving! Oh shit, the world's over! <laughs> Holy shit, dude's big. I can't wait for the dragon to say he wants to become a fucking butler. <laughs> no one's gonna get that. It's a never-ending story. <laughs> Thank you, Curious One, for this unprecedented act of goodness and generosity. Through your creation, the elements have soothed my long-tormented soul. At any time, it's just spread, really. This marks a new beginning for me. If it is not too much to ask, would you be willing to give me a new name? I... Sure. Ugh. I still have a bit of time. I can do this. Okay, so what are your ambitions? The past was one of anger and destruction, but you've shown me the way to a higher purpose. I wish to honor your memory by, memory by becoming a devoted caterer. Lots of nice of you to say. Are you winning? Yeah, girl's gonna fucking die. <laughs> But we're winning. So a butler, huh? Are you? No. F is it the same dragon? There's no way. No, that's just got to be different. There's no way. Okay. 
That's crazy, if so. Um... Oh, what's his fucking name? Oh, God, I... I'm so bad with names when I'm trying to, like, tie story shit together. Why the dragon kinda... <laughs> Dude, the dra... I fucking... This dragon's cool. I fuck with this dragon. How about Sinclair? Nah, hold on. Girl, let me just straight up say the name. Oh, I know. I... There's a new life I shall name you. <gasps> Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta, I gotta make sure. I gotta make sure. That sounds so familiar. No. Hold on. I gotta make sure. Before I'm just like. Yeah, I know. No, okay, no. I was thinking it was his initial name. But maybe his initial name, or maybe he didn't have a name, I can't remember. But that's really weird that that's now the only two dragons in this fucking universe, and both of them. Yeah, Manfred. <laughs> Why do both of the fucking dragons in this universe want to be butlers? <laughs> I don't fucking get it. <laughs> For this new life. I'll name you Rentworth. Okay. I, that sounded so familiar to me. Interesting. Rentworth. Once again, I thank you. Never have I encountered such a caring soul. I understand your time is almost up. Is there anything I can do to repay your kindness? There's one thing, yes. My final journey, I'd like to fly on your back with my friends. Oh. Don't judge a dragon on his kink. <laughs> no kink shit. <laughs> my final journey, I'd like to fly in your bag with my friends. It would be my honor and privilege. And please take us to Moon Cradle. I want to be buried under the celestial hall willow. Carl. I'm more so confused why just both of the dragons want to be butlers. So, Garl, before you make me really sad, if you don't give me if you don't give me your fucking equipment back, I hate you. <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm gonna be so mad. Please. <laughs> Hey, so we gotta fly for a second time. That's pretty neat, huh? Holy shit, someone's dying! <laughs> Dude, Alex, you have not been here for a while! <laughs> Actually, no. You were... No, you were... You've missed a lot. It's been, like, a few streams, but... You've missed so much. <laughs> Yeah, you, you miss a stream, you just miss fucking everything. <laughs> this game is crazy, dude. Yeah, Gar Garl's fucking dying, man. <laughs> just save your energy, Garl. All oh, the fucking piano music. Oh, auto mod. <laughs> Added, I'm a kill you is a permitted term. Someone's dying, and then all he hears, I swear to God, Garl, if you don't give me this bag, I'm gonna kill you myself. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't like, I didn't like Garl anyway, his dumbass name. What the fuck, Frathia? <laughs> I don't get it. Dude, Garl's just such a fucking cool dude. I didn't like Garl at first either, but he's the heart. Yeah, he really is. I wasn't crazy over him at first, but he... Fucking character development. Or not even really that, just he showed his charisma. How cool he was. You save your energy, girl. I'm okay, it doesn't hurt anymore. I'm just really sleepy. I'll be with you until the end. I know, I'm so lucky. Hey, promise me one thing. Anything. I want you to use this gift. You'll travel across the sea of stars, whatever that is. 
<laughs> Name drop number four! Did that motherfucker get shot? Pretty much. Yeah, and then fucking everyone... Oh, and then Valer and... Uh, Zale fucking awakened their godlike powers, and then... And then we went back to the Elder Mist, and then he's not technically dead yet, because of a fucking... Potion... Yeah, there's a lot happening. This is kind of why I want to do a supercut. Because this story is just fucking crazy. This game just has so many words. It, yeah, it, it's, there can be a lot of text. But I, when I'm into a story, I, I get so deep, I, I get so into it. You're about to get ship and then something else, and then now y'all in a fucking dragon and someone's dying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm interested to see what happens after this, because <laughs> there's been a lot that happens. We'll do it for you. I mean, someone has to kick Erlina's butt and teach the Fleshmancer a lesson. Yeah, that's true. Fuck Erlina. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Might as well be you, right? Well, go and do that. Don't worry. Oh, and you'll keep cooking too, right? Use what I taught you? Every day. I'll miss you so much. Blair Zale, I can't thank you enough for everything. Good, <laughs> good, guys, he's gonna, gonna turn into stars. Blair Zale, I can't thank you enough for everything. All those moments together, all the adventures. I couldn't have asked for better friends. Me bawling my eyes out. I. Oh. Oh. Hell. <laughs> oh, this hurts, man. This hurts a lot. And then it's the fucking god. I cannot stand. <laughs> when melodies just get put into piano to just make the most emotional shit ever. And it fucking gets me. Oh. Oh. This is so neat. And that was a rendition of Garl's theme too? That's what it was! Oh my god. God, you're so right. Oh my God. <sighs> Welcome to the stream, pets. Oh, we have fun here. We don't get fucking depressed as hell over video games. <laughs> Wait, is it actually the end of the game or what? No, it's not finishing up. We're not. No, there's no way we're done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just the Discord as of recently, yeah. It very, it's not like anything going on in there other than like stream announcements. I'm trying to build it up. Anyway, Garl's fucking dead. We're gathered here today to honor Garl, the warrior cook. Born in Moon Cradle, he chose a life of adventure and accomplished many deeds. Fighting alongside Solstice warriors, founding the peaceful town of Mirth, he even managed to soothe the sleeper. Yeah, you surely showed him in the end, son. Good work. Like a true pirate chef. This adventure won't be the same without you, pal. Oh, that's so sad. May he be remembered for his warm heart, his bravery, bravery and his unrelenting sm smile. Man, rain can be such a prick, but like... Ugh. Oh. I can't, I can't even be mad. May he be remembered. Why did the game have to do this, man? Girl, you really were the best of us. I see so much already. The world will hear the stories of your deeds for generations to come. This is my vow. That's wholesome. If you didn't have chat, you'd be crying. Oh, if I was not streaming right now, I would probably be bawling my eyes out. I can handle it a little bit better 
when I can, like, go back and forth between reading chat and then being sad. <laughs> For Epia, who cares? <laughs> Thank you for teaching me, Master Girl. Aww. I'm glad you like the kiln. Oh. Oh. Those frames solidified it for me. Oh my god. It has been a couple of weeks already. Are we leaving anytime soon, Captain? I'm gonna be honest. I I tuned in because I saw the thumbnail and wanted to see the reaction when we got here. I've been scrolling through Twitch just to find these moments. Yeah, I totally get you. There's so many moments of this. Just so many moments in this story where it's like, I want to see how other people reacted to this shit. Okay, let's move on. This is why Frenthy. This is why I love Frenthy being in the chat. <laughs> Done that before. Oh, it hit me hard. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. It's it's so fucking crazy because this game has gone from me popping off when I first heard messenger music in this game. And then, all the way down to, I'm fucking bawling my eyes out. What the fuck, man? I knew I was going to get into the story. I knew I was going to enjoy this game, even though I'm not crazy over JRPGs. However, holy shit. Wild. Carl, may your time have been joyful, your adventure may be fruitful, and your rest be peaceful. Very wholesome. Oh, it's just your place next to me. <laughs> Couple weeks already, we're leaving anytime soon, Captain. Giving Valer and Zale as much time as they need. I must hurt something awful. Their bond was a special one. Wait, did Carl die? <laughs> yeah. I mean, no. <laughs> He's just napping underground. What did Carl even die, anyways? Okay, so. Oh, fuck. Now I gotta explain. <laughs> So, we got to the third dweller. Um, basically, I believe, from what I understand, either someone made the tower we were finding the dweller on fall, or the dweller itself. I already don't care. <laughs> well, basically, the fucking Fleshmancer revealed himself because Rashan disobeyed the rules of being immortal alongside the Fleshmancer because of fucking Sarai being a fucking prick. But, I mean, I think the world would have ended if it weren't for her doing that anyway. Um, or at least been very messed up. And then Garl, just being Garl, took another blow for the team when I think Valer was about to get shot by something. He's like a wine. You leave him for a few years and then it'll be good to retreat. <laughs> yeah, of course. It must have hurt something awful. Their bond was a special one. Sure would have hurt something fierce to lose one of our own. But you're right about trade. Their friendship was something else. So, Captain, any ideas for our next adventure? Yes, the time has come. She's gonna reveal herself. Captain? Oh, how exciting. So I gave myself the funny roll. Feel free to move it at any time. Hell yeah, funny roll. Oh, that's cool. Oh, man. Oh, this is sad still.
this is neat. So I can't believe you spent all that time on the platform with just a monocle and a cookie jar. He sure is a loyal friend. The best. Well there, I think I'm ready. I've been thinking about her, Lena. No matter what kind of flesh monster monster she's become, we have to defeat her. Wherever she is. Garlister held up his end of the bargain. Sky Giant's council will let us through, I suppose. Cross the Sea of Stars, name drop number five. <laughs> Whatever that means. Regarl then? Regarl. Innocence lost. Oh, I got an achievement for that. Oh, man. Innocence lost and purpose reaffirmed. The powers of Luan and Solon start to awaken within Valer and Zale. Zale. Oh. Zale learns ultimate attack. Solon's light salvation. Valer learns ultimate attack. Luan's might retribution. Holy shit. Wild. Carl was useful for something! <laughs> okay, I just want to say that I love games that build a story that feels real and then brings some emotions like One Shot. I have not finished One Shot. I am like... Two... I haven't finished it. I'm just in the city area. And I just have not picked it up. It hasn't clicked with me, but I, I need to finish it. I don't know if he was that important to put him next to the tree where Solstice Warriors came from, but okay, I guess. <laughs> Comic book style they did with this part was perfection for the emotions. Oh, yeah. Honestly, that was the kind of style I wanted for all the animations in this game. Which I think is, is just a personal take. I just... I just... I'm, I, the animation... Like, the quick cuts to the animations in this game still feel very jarring for me. But honestly, not having stuff like that until now, I think, made it even cooler. Nah, I prefer the blonde hair guy's old push-ups. <laughs> it's a nice game, but play what you want. I, I just need to finish it. Especially because I know uh, Carson will eventually stream it. So I need to get it done. So I'm ready to avenge your friend. He's playing this too. I'm not what. No. <laughs> I fucking love this game. I'm not. I'm not gonna yell at Curse on the fucking Play Sea of Stars. That's, that's a good 30 streams. <laughs> we are. Oh my gosh. What a good game, but also, what the fuck, man? Are you. Back to the Sky Council then, we can go to Shrine right away if you want. Oh. We'll be here. It's gonna take longer than the plot streams. Don't fucking remind me about the plot streams. <laughs> Check up. There we go. We're all in morning. Oh. Man. I don't think there's anything to do here necessarily. This is sad. Well, I mean, we gotta continue the game, right? <laughs> oh, we have an empty, we have an empty party slot now. Oh, that makes us even worse. Place for the cargo. <laughs> you send it into cargo. Back right, Sky Council, then we can go shrine right away if you want. Well, let's do it, I suppose. All right, <sighs> girl's fucking dead now, but we gotta, we gotta chug along. Give the bones of the story in person if you still have them. Have her make a story. 
<laughs> I do have a story, or uh, another relic I need to give to her, but that'd be fucking funny. Hey, can you uh, tell me about Garl? Actually, I kind of want to see if she'll say something. Just because she m said your story will be told for generations to come, I wonder if this is like a Garl story or something. That'd be cool. I only care if Erlina dies. She's hot. Bro. You... I'm not gonna say a damn thing. <laughs> and I'm gonna fucking hope you're here for when we encounter Erlina. She is not gonna be Erlina. She is gonna be fucked up. And I am so excited to see what that shit's gonna be like. Is this the right track of mind? Y'all are gonna be excited for what the hell is gonna happen. I don't even know what's gonna happen, but it's gonna be fucked. Oh, I'm so excited. Alright. What? Alright, Sky Council. I'm so happy to be in the Discord with five people, two of them are bots. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Dragon! Dragon's going around now. Yeah, the Discord's it's quite a little small currently. That's fine. Gotta build it up some way. You have returned. We're sorry about the passing of your friend. Our word has lost a kind soul indeed. Thank you. That's wholesome. Sleeper's been soothed and has awoken. So it has. You'd claim the reward then? Yes. We demand access to the Sea of Stars. Are you prepared for the voyage? We are. Mumble mumble. Do they know what to expect? Do they know what to expect? Sarai? Fess up. We don't... We don't know what the Sea of Stars even is. It's the very passage you seek in order to see this journey through. It lies at the core of our world. The infinitely great within the infinitely small. This is going to be some time travel bullshit. How do we get to it? We shall get to that in due time. First, all travelers must be registered. Please gather your group. Honorable Council, if you could make an exception, I would like to go as Captain Cliché. My crew, they... Mumble mumble. Well, we will allow it. Thank you. Okay, let's gather everyone in Formula line. Holy shit! <laughs> what is this about to mean, though? My current thing is literally just we're going to sail in the stars. That's that's my guess currently. I'm interested to see what weird stuff this is going to be. Present yourselves, travelers. Lunar Monk Valer. Next. Solar Blade Dancer Zail. Next. Next. <laughs> they don't need his name. Fire Captain Cliche. Next. I will travel across the Sea of Stars, or my name is not Keenathan. Roll in name, please. Heart Wind Mage Keenathan. Mumble Mumble? Bring Keenathan. Mumble Mumble. The error must be on our end. We will disregard it. Next? What does that mean? What does that mean? What do you mean? Alright, Quartermaster Jacko Valtrade. Next. Alright, First Mate Yoland, Ernest, well meaning demolition, busy lookout, practically anytime service, footwall. Founder. Next. I wasn't really affected, but if I was, the feet would make me feel feel better after Carl's death. <laughs> Ghost Navigator Hortense. Already cleared from a previous trip. Next? What is going on? Traveling at Story Antiques. All clear. Luana. They are referring to them by the gods now. He's been here before. Hey, he's a fucking a trapped with a, 
or see Nightmare's curse, so... I don't blame him if he's been up to some weird shit. You're the leader of this group? Yes. If I grant you access to the Sea of Stars, allow us. What's about to happen? What is about to fucking happen? Mmm. So that's what it says. So we're straight up going to the center of the world? The four sunken giants mark the entrance. Now go and sail away to where you are most needed. Thank you. We will use this gift to bring about peace. Godspeed. Now it's finally the end of the game. Surely. Wait until you find out this is the prologue. Alright, I don't think there's anything I need to do. I'm gonna need to come back to this area anyway. <laughs> For 100%ing this game, so... Messenger Island! I will miss you! I love you! What happened over the last 15 minutes? Garl died and we're not going to the Sea of Stars. Whatever the hell that means. I just took the most unreal dump of the year. <laughs> Way to Sea of the Stars. What is that island to? There's still so much shit in this game. Let's do it, I guess. One of those where you just sit there for a bit and go, damn. Oh. Okay. I'm ready. Oh boy. What is this shit about to be? I'm ready. <laughs> Dude, this is so messenger. This is like, this is like... Okay, now watch it. <laughs> if we fucking sail to the Temple of Time... Or not Temple of Time. Um, Tower of Time. Where am I going? Right now. I can't see shit, man. What? Ready... <laughs> right. Oh, we go here. Trek to the center of the world. Whoa. What the fuck is going on? What does this mean? What the fuck does this mean? What the fuck does this mean? This... This feels like the game's about to end. What the fuck is that? Oh, Ant Dude. What is going on? Goo Goon. Oh, fuck you. Oh, shit! I just remembered something. I can't see weaknesses. I need... Oh no, wait a minute. I did forget something. Let's hope I fucking have the items. 156, holy shit. Uh, I don't think you're gonna do much. Yeah, this guy is just... Melee. Please. Please, please tell me we have the items. Oh, thank god. Okay, we got the shit back. Oh, thank god. Okay, good. <sighs> thank god. <laughs> I was about to be mad. Alright, we're a lot better off now. Girl, that girl person didn't keep it. <laughs> I would be upset. What is going on? What are you?
Canoe Snooku Acolyte? Huh? What's that? That's not shit I recognize. Guys, I'm gonna put something up again because I'm like this. Okay, I thought so. Interesting. I keep seeing certain names that are like very close to messenger shit, but it's not related. I'm trying to connect the lines, even though I'm pretty confident by now that the game's gonna do it itself. You don't have Garl at our party anymore. Did he like die or something? Um, we can just do this. Oh, that did a lot. Where's Garl? He's slacking. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe our best friend has kind of abandoned us. Oh! Cool enemy! And annoying enemy. No, what? What? Okay, it works. Cool en Why are we so close to each other, man? I love this frog, dude. See the stars? Star creatures. This is the end of game area? Surely. He's dead. Fuck. There we go. Said to me, what the, what the bra? How did your rust go away? And I told him that Coke or Pepsi can clear rust. Someone needs to check on Drift Burger. He's not well. The Sea of Stars. What? What is your ass talking about? What is your ass talking about? What? Oh, that. Wait. I can't. I can't look at my map. Okay. Holy freaking crap, sea of stars! Get the room. Whoa. Okay. Chromatic aberration. What are you? Holy fucking shit! What? What? Oh, it's doing weird shit. Oh, it's doing weird shit. It's doing weird shit. Let's go. Oh, oh was that, that was a 3D model. That was a fucking 3D model. Oh my fucking god. Now it's, oh my god. This game could not do the shit I love more. Oh my fucking god. No fucking way. No fucking way. No fucking way! Holy shit! What the fuck is this game? What? Oh. What is going on? You can- Dude. What? 
just fucking happened. The game knows how to get to me. Now it's doing inscription shit. I'm so fucking down for this. Holy shit. Surely that's all the 3D, right? Surely we won't get to the point where there's just full 3D. <laughs> right? Holy shit. What is this fucking game? How far from the text boxes are different? How far from home are we? What the fuck? This is very much, um, no going back now area. And it's so fucking dark. I can't see shit. What? What is this? Huh? Guardian intruder alert. What is going on? What is going on? Entities from another world have breached the compound. What is going on? What is going on? What the fuck? Dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is insane. Commencing elimination. Watch out. Oh my. Oh, oh my. I'm. Is this my game of the year? No, fuck, here's the king. This is my game of the year. Holy shit. What? Oh my. Dude. This is so fucking cool. I knew- I had a feeling it was gonna do shit like this, but oh my god! Sabotage Studio does not miss. Holy shit. This is fucking insane. It cancelled. This is so fucking cool, and the fucking remix! Dude, oh my god. This is so fucking cool. This I'm not gonna stop praising this game now. This is so fucking cool! Holy shit! <laughs> I don't want to stop playing now. Meh. <laughs> Thanks for <everybody. laughs> I'm sure before all, all I kind of did is like swap the art, art style. Well, not even swap the art styles. Swap the thing of the game a little bit. Like it's kind of stupid. When you think about it. Can I? No, I didn't charge up. That's fine. <laughs> Giving me Asian mother vibes, impossible to impress. <laughs> What? What? The fuck is this shit, man? Ba -ba -bow oh, this is so fucking cool. So is this going to, like, delve into, like, shit of, oh my gosh, we're going to fucking start doing, like, we're going to meet ourselves in this universe or whatever? 
if this universe we aren't dead or something. Gotten better at that. I, I've gotten so much better at just the mechanics in this game because I've played it for so long now. <laughs> it's insane. And I fucking love it. Target. We're about to build the combo too. Alright, we only need to do this. Yep, almost max. What do we do here? Get that, we already We already did that. I need just one target. I hit. That's... I damage versus one target. I think this is what we want to do here. Bring around. I'm on meters charge. Eh. Honestly, probably should have boosted that. Oh well, though. Um. No, we're not. Sean, your shit's OP, but like, we're gonna wait on that. Ultimate attack. Let's fucking try it. You're gonna kill for your ulti? Nah, we're gonna kill now. Luna's might. Retribution. Okay. Go off. Holy shit! And the fucking victory theme is remixed too. Holy shit! Man, this boss does no damage. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like they probably didn't want you to die there. With the big drop of like, what's going on. I was gonna be getting cool emos from Greg and Floss. <laughs> this place seems so advanced. There's nothing like this mentioned in any records. Sarai? <gasps> oh! What?! Holy shit! Oh, oh, okay, okay. She got a freaky. <laughs> Holy shit! What is this game? Honestly, that disappoints me a little, only because of the fact that I don't know if this means this is the only, like, other universe or world or whatever that we're gonna go to. This is why they kept making those discreet jabs at her. Yeah. I knew something was up. That girl comes back. <laughs> I knew something was fucking up, but like, what? That, of all things? How did, like, the people just allow her to do that? Like the people who knew that were okay interesting welcome to my world we desperately need you it's all right 
Who would have thought part two? Learns Rice's true identity. Okay, that's kind of funny. <laughs> that's really funny how it was obvious about her first identity, and now it's this shit. Dude, this game. Sarai, why didn't you tell us? I couldn't find the words. Would you have stuck around if you knew? Of course, we'd be nowhere without you. My world fell to the Fleshmancer. Oh, shit. My world fell to the Fleshmancer a very long time ago. It's completely lost. Up above, Skybase produces nasty clouds that prevent sunlight from reaching the surface. And the moon, he sank it into the ocean. Oh my god. You understand? The moon and the sun disconnected? No more children of the solstice. Will you help? Oh, that is kind- that is a really... Creepy... Thing of the character. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> you know we will. Where do we begin? Well, what the fuck? So what are we doing down here? Obviously stopping the Fleshmancer, but like... What the fuck? Now we're doing this? Where do we begin? By visiting my home, I have been away for far too long. My people. Are they... Like me? Yes. One by one, we were turned into cyborg. Oh! We were turned into cyborgs by the wicked catalyst. A sentient evil machine. Cursed by immortality in this form, my people linger helplessly while the Dweller of, Dr of Dread slowly feeds on their souls. Holy shit. That's right. I'm so sorry. You can help. This is, this is exactly why I left. Find Solstice Warriors to find you. We can remove the clouds. The moon will shine again. And the Dweller of Dread would be made vulnerable. We will cleanse your world. I swear it. And I swear it too. Teex is just kind of here. <laughs> Thank you. Getting to Skybase won't be easy, but a lead might have been found while I was away. Let's make for Rapine, my hometown. I want to show you what we are fighting here. What about the Fleshmancer? His lair lies on a flying piece of land. I have absolutely no idea how to get there. Okay, first things first, let's visit your place. Rapine is on Cerulean Island, east of the exit from here. The, <laughs> the derelict factory might pose a challenge, but I suppose we've been through worse. What the hell? Alright, lead the way. So are we trying to kill the Fleshmancer in this world? I thought, I thought we were just trying to kill the Fleshmancer, period. I think it's still the objective, but like... What the fuck? What the actual fuck? Okay, are we gonna go to like a world map now? N no. Or, I don't get it, man. I don't fucking get it either. I don't think this is a world map. Oh. We gotta go up through the center of their world. Holy fuck. Remember Sean said they would go to his home base and fight him there? But this is his home base? Interesting. Wow. This is... Fucking wild. This shit does not look like Sea of Stars anymore. What the fuck? Holy. Fleshmancer's home base. That's not my home base. I told you you weren't near Dunlow. Yeah, no, I. Holy fuck. This is. fucking insane. But we saw the Sea of Stars. <laughs> This is fucking wild. So what's the 3D again? Dude, I... Okay, so they're definitely not going to do the 3D again. For like a full segment. Especially because that would just affect the file size so much. Holy fucking hell. What? Fuck 
okay, I'm starting to think this is maybe the Flashmancer's home base. Just a little question. It's the Flashmancer's lair. Yeah, I'm feeling this, this may be it. Oh my god, dude. This is fucking wild. Okay, it seems like there's a lot bigger of areas. Or like islands in general. But then see you look down, you see mountains and shit. So clearly, apparently this world may just be more flooded. Which makes sense from what I understand about the messenger. That only makes sense. But still, we we go into another world, we kill the fleshmancer. How the fuck does this explain the messenger? I don't get it! This game is wild! Oh, the fucking moon! Infinite Abyss. Uh-huh. Wow. This shit... is crazy. Derelict Factory. How the fuck is this Sea of Stars? Dude. <sighs> what the fuck? Why? Well, this is roof is accessible. Oh, we're fully healed for some reason. <laughs> A world without sun! Yep. This shit is fucking wild. Jump. Ooh. This is gonna be interesting. Recipe sashimi? Oh my god. This shit's cyberpunk now. Plus 155! Times nine, okay. Now we're gonna start probably getting crazy recipes with all the materials we've gathered, right? That's crazy. The vibe, yeah, this shit goes fucking hard. Still funny too, because I very much went into this like, oh yeah, Sea of Stars, you know, has a theme to it. We've just gotten rid of that theme, it's just this now. What does this mean? What does this, what does this mean? Is this a fucking teleporter? I don't fucking get it. Holy shit. Yep. Snake. Um, the battle theme. What the fuck, dude? Turret. Just a turret. Your regular Sea of Stars enemy. I'm still just so fucking lost. This shit is crazy. This is why I am glad I went in blind. Oh. And these apparently have no weaknesses. <clears throat> Damn it, the timing. This won't like. 
this shut though. I do right. Yep. Okay, so then I could have definitely prevented this attack if I had a boost remaining, but it's fine. Max combo is charged. Oh my gosh. We're getting gold now? From battles? Okay. How is the Sea of Stars? This. How? Always gotten gold? You have? I thought it was always only XP. Am I okay. I'm lying. <laughs> I thought it was only XP. It's just been like two gold. Okay, that that's probably why. It braces the wearer's body with impossible accuracy. This is insane that we're going from this shit to just just that. Bounce it out more. Thank you. Oh my god, dude. Fuck. Elevator offline. Kyber mesh battery required. Please use laser crane for safe handling. What is going on? It's cozy and warm. That shit is not on. I... I'm at a loss for words, man. Now I'm even more confused. Like, I can't play this without just the lingering thought in the back of my mind of how the fuck does this explain the messenger? <laughs> because this has just made it more confusing. An ID card is required to operate the crane. ID... fucking... All right. Oh, okay, so I guess we have a much, oh my God. Much easier way of evading this stuff now. Fuck. Share, but you try not to be convoluted to challenge if possible. Yeah, make a good point. Horse mech. Okay. Still though, like, eh, this is just not what I expected, man. This is wild. Man. Robot powers or whatever. So I this <laughs> I wonder too. <laughs> that was a cool death sound effect. If Sarai is not from our world, it sure as hell doesn't seem like magic really exists in this world. This just seems like it's fucking cyberpunk. How the hell does she have portals? Mmm, meat. Alright, these things are just... So fast. At the same time, I'll be missing out on XP if I skip them, but at the same time... I'm... You've been... Teleporting as well. Yeah, but she has like literal portals that she could just ah. 
That's also really loud when I get caught. That she can just carve out of thin air. I don't know. Don't look into it too much, I guess. That's probably what I should be doing. Coral seems like a very valid thing to have, especially considering they're immortal cyb cyborgs. Yeah, that's fair. That is fucking wild. I <laughs> super can't be here. This is Emotus R. confident on to cool hands such a good emote. I can't wait to have to fucking edit this around chat. Oh my god. Oh. Cyber Master Battery Printer. Missing components. One blueprint. Just one Kyber or one X power unit. Man, what do you want from me? Cane operator ID card. Yes! <laughs> Do you know the world's ever awesome messages? <laughs> oh man, I can't even fucking stop. I don't have Garl here. I can't fucking stop the hammers, man. I was like, it's Sarai to fucking delay the attack. Actually, wait a minute. No, I can. I think. Ugh. This is the thing. Raise a random lock on the target, plus one lock of timed. I've never done this before, so let's hope I can get it. I did it. Oh. I wanted that to be the center, but, um, alright. <laughs> I'm just spamming. I just don't know what the fuck to do against some of these attacks. They're too fucking new. Oh god, I gotta try to decode this. Erm, um, hello blue light supercut viewers. This might not be Minecraft, okay? But we're just chilling and docking. <sighs> awesome. <laughs> I need to go back here. I think. I'll be honest, I'm a little confused. Is this the current thing? Yes. Nope, elevator offline. Ah. Why does blue light not work, but everything else does? It's because it's, it's unlisted. Which is what's stupid. It's, an un it's unlisted on 7TB. So, I... I don't know. I, I, just, I probably should just fucking steal um, what like everyone else seems to use, but I, don't, I gotta figure out what that is. Let's give a device. We'll fit here. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, this the hole. <laughs> Crane operator ID card. What the fuck? <laughs> This is wild. 
What am I doing with it? Where's L? Okay, I gotta. Does he not see it? Do I not see it? Is this- is, is it happening again? No fucking way I'm being this stupid. Are, are you- no, don't do this to me. Don't- we can't have this happen again. Hey. Yeah, there's a super easy puzzle for him to never figure out- what the fuck, man? <laughs> I just don't see it. That was the only pick upable object that I found. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> ha! Ha! You know what? I hate Sea of Stars actually. Oh, it's. <laughs> I didn't fucking, it didn't click in my mind. It's still got a best expected. Oh, what the fuck, man. Oh, the chest is a fucking different sound effect. Oh my god. So that's funny, there's rainbow conch shells in here, too. Oh my god. There's so much going on in these areas. And then that'll work. Whatever that accomplished. <laughs> Do I want to get into a battle though so I can get XP? <laughs> Okay, well, I'm gonna head to bed. Got some stuff to do in the morning. Have a good one. Good luck not killing off more of your crew. Thank you. Yeah, who fucking. Uh, dude. I wanna keep going, but holy fuck. <laughs> and this is also, like, so much more going on that I, like, really have to make sure I find a good fucking place to stop. Because, holy shit. What? Oh, okay. Cyber Ore. Wait a minute. Okay, okay, whatever, whatever. I don't think the blue crystals are called Cyber Ore, or whatever. We shall see. Dodge. Have a brown. I'm so stupid, I just... Guys, it's a bit... My brain works in really cool ways, but I'm just not all there. I'm glad. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I saw it now, Mom. Ah, oh, damn it. Or three. See me. The print disc. <laughs> just, oh, it's that easy. Holy shit, how did I do that? Who needs XP when you got skills to go around it? Oh. Sniper still daggers. Hey, look, it's like something to actually fit you. I can't get whatever that is. What? Not that hard. Wire plate sheet. I don't know what that is. Oh boy, I'm definitely getting caught here. 
our play sheet. That's what it is. There's so many key items. Let's retrieve your completed power unit. Power unit. Back to the room. Eh. Fuck! It's so cool because it's so loud. Well, I guess I'll be going back to the room eventually. Not now, though. I really fucking missed something in that room. Push the blocks to the side further? Oh my gosh. It's the where does the key go incident all over again. Ah, shit. Damn it. Well, we'll be going there eventually! Oh, the music's still the same. Plus two MP now! Plus more ta- oh my gosh. This game kind of reminded me of Just Cause 2, so true. Physical defense. Man, fuck it. 20 MP. Little defense, I think. Huh. Only plus one. I guess we will make these stats even then. Plus two for him as well. What the hell? <laughs> How long do you say is left? Dude, we got, we've definitely got over a, a good like 10 hours. This shit's not wrapping up soon. And the game's not gonna end when we finish this world. There's gonna be more. I don't know how much longer. There's gonna be more. It's gonna end, trust me. Okay. Oh. Ten hours, especially because he stopped so much. <laughs> What do you... This is the room? The top right one, push it. I, I pushed it. Yeah, I got I I got what I thought was everything. I swear there was stuff in here. <laughs> My bad. Not good. Yeah, that's why I was a little confused. But oh well. Did I? Yeah, I did, I did, I did, I did. Okay, okay, hold on. We have power unit. One of the parts need to print a kyber mesh battery. So you print a... Okay. I'm still a little lost. So we activated that. There's this. There's the elevator. This shit won't work. 
Please use laser crane for safe handling. Then there's this. If I have fit here. Which I think is where the battery outputs. But what do I need? Fuck, that's not what I wanted to do, but oh well. I guess I wasn't gonna come back over here. I picked up the shit that was over here, right? I'm not just being stupid. Yeah, we got that shit. Spider-Man move is pretty good. I've heard it was... You're either gonna love it or hate it. Fucking multiverses, I'm... I think I'm satisfied with the shit that's going on right now. I think there's enough multiverses for... <laughs> me. That goes forward. Wow. I did it again. Fucking warp! Here we go! We're not done here. It's gotta be something more in like this area. That shit. There we go. Okay. Processing. High rush battery completed. Send it to the elevator room. Please use laser cane for safe handling. Convoluted. Elevator online. Holy hell. Okay. Up we go. Elevator is online. Oh. is a little fast. Interesting. This area looks decent enough. I could probably finish it the stream. For chance. Repine. Oh my god, man. Shit, it looks depressing as hell. Mouse is all the way up. We can make our plans there. Yay, a picnic basket. Can't wait for food to be in there. What is this? Oh. Press. And I wish there was some way to cheer people up. It's like I'm the only one other than Sarai. He still has some energy, but I'm no fighter. Another world. I went way too fucking fast. Well, so that does sound like it could be fun. I watch my from your world. If there's any way to get a table delivered here, I'd love to play some wheels. Well, wheels is somehow gonna be here. Funny that they're still playing music in just like the most depressing world ever. No. What the fuck's that? 
feed me something sweet. Uh, it's the worst thing I got. <laughs> Honestly, probably that. I was to say no fuck you wasn't sweet or something though. Not sweet enough. I hate you. Chop at the end. I was paying attention just now. Something sweet. Um. Something sweet. Parfait. Pea strudel. Try pea strudel. Sounds really fucking good. something warming. Oh my lord. Well, this is one way to go through uh, foods, I suppose. Something warming. Something warming. Stew. This is stew. We'll, we'll go with stew. Where's my foods? Really expensive, though. Cradle fish pie? Hearty stew. Yeah, that's that. Hearty stew, I suppose. Tasty. Nice. He's feeding me something meaty. I keep checking. That's meat. Um, no. Nah. Fish pie. That that'll work. I'll hang on to that though. But um, incredible fish pie, I suppose. Not meaty enough. Yeah, well, um, hmm. meaty enough. There's this. Um, that. Roast sandwich? We'll do the roast sandwich. Um, I don't have any though. Hey, I need a sweep. that much. This one will be it, surely. Because I don't know what else it could be. Um, and I guess we'll get through text walls. Please have a, like, girl thing. Kukar the unyielding. Oh, yeah, that, that'd be a neat thing. But oh well. Kukar the unyielding. Let's get through this real quick. Of the many events from the time of the Ovates, many consider the foundation of the kingdom in the clouds to be the most significant. This shift is so off in a cyberpunk world now. It was back in the early, early days when the world was still being shaped. Once they had completed the islands, they started working on the travel golems. The Ovates first built Yeet and Extol, and rejoiced at the ease with which they could activate them using power words. But for Mesa Island, something more was needed, a sentient golem, one that would not simply obey commands, but carry purpose. The reason was that this specific island was at sea level. But the Ovates had seen in their dreams it needed to be propped up way higher. Indeed, in the future, there would be a great flood, and for this world to survive, Mesa Island would have to remain above water. Holy shit. Messenger. Although the future was a very distant one, uh -huh. the Ovates remained as selfless as ever in their dedication to harmony and balance. Thus they built Kukar, but alas, found themselves unable to give a sentience. Ever embracing the flow of things, the Ovates held firm to the belief that their part in saving Mesa Island had been played. They moved on to completing the vision that it's they had seen in a shared dream, from the essence of the very clouds conjured sky giants. There would come a time when the Ovates would go extinct, and it would fall to the sky giants to keep watch. 
They would be tasked with establishing a council in the clouds to oversee three very important things. First of which was to keep watch over the elements. While a flood was unavoidable, maintaining balance would remain a challenge unless new votes arose. Secondly, they would be the gatekeepers of the Sea of Stars, carefully vetting those who would seek to travel between worlds. Lastly, there was the matter of Kukar. They remained incomplete, and so they would need to be on the lookout for a wielder of magic potent enough to make the construct sentient. In the end, it was the Great Eagle who helped them in this. Nowadays, few are aware of Kukar's purpose, most believing it to be nothing more than an impressive feat of masonry. But even from a prophetic standpoint, there is no real way to, to know whether it will withstand the coming flood. But until then, Kukar's role would remain a passive one, holding on with an ever firm grip. It would remain tall, inspiring morals as a testament to stoicism and true dedication. One need only lay eggs upon the construct once to understand where it got its title of Kukar the Unyielding. The end. That's still really weird to me that the Messenger Island is just, yeah, it's being held up. That's also pretty cool. But. Oh, okay, weird. I'm just right, it's terrible. Chance try fucking understand everything. Well, no, he knows about this shit. I guess. Hmm. Thank you for your help. I'm eager to visit my home and show you what we're up against. Alright. You better like this. Tasty. There you go. Something light. What? Dude. Man. Light. Her fate would be light, but that's good. That's like a really good thing. Oh. Berry jam. That'll that'll work. A little annoying that I kind of got to keep doing this. It's fine. Not light enough? Perfect. Fuck it. Not light enough? Okay. What? Shit. What else here is light? Eh. We'll try a basic salad. And then if that's not it, then I don't know what else is and we'll move on. Like this. Tasty, there we go. From the water. Dude, how, how much stuff do you have? What in the world? Fish pie, maybe. Oh, boys. Fillet would work. Herb fillet.
Tasty. Are you good now? This is everything I ever wanted and more. Dispensing reward. Well, I need to do it eventually. <laughs> oh my goodness. Crazy. We shall see what else there may or may not be. This feels like I'm playing a fucking different game, man. No peace left in our hearts, huh? Oh. Why would you return? Someone must have known. It did too much to us. Get it out of my head. Oh man. This area is fucked. I still see it in my dreams. I want a way back to my mind. I wish that I could give up. Oh my god, dude. This world is fucked, dude. Holy shit. Implant for Sarai that removes one star from allies entering KO state? That removes one star from allies. What the fuck's a star? What? Sarai that removes one star from allies entering KO state? Huh. Interesting. I very much. It's different than most dishes and bombings. Hmm. Oh, it's very good, actually. Huh. Honestly, I think I'm gonna call it here. I gotta... I gotta realistically go through my shit and find enough money for that stuff. I really don't feel like doing that right now, and I don't want to come back. I'm gonna do that tomorrow when I have energy to do so. Holy shit. Definitely a lot of this stuff I can just sell. I just have so much. On top of that, then we gotta continue the story. Which is, uh, very interesting, to say the least. Holy shit. I cannot believe the game took this turn. I'm not surprised, but this is not what I expected. shit. Okay, so oh, I'm interested too. It, oh, fuck. Yeah, how is this title screen going to change? Whoa. Okay. That's cool. That is really cool. Holy shit. Okay, wow. So this game is insane. 
This is not the turn I expected at all. Beating the game tomorrow. Uh-huh. Yeah. Tomorrow's gonna be the last one. Oh my god. I thought this shit was gonna be like... Five or six streams at most. This is an insane amount of content. Like, holy shit. I... Oh my god. Yeah, I... <laughs> I'm just gonna keep playing until we get to the end. Where the end is, who fucking knows? Hopefully two more streams. I, We'll see, though. The, this is fucking day eight. Oh, my God. This is insane. Over 30 hours of streaming this game. Wild. Yeah, I... We'll see what progress I can make tomorrow. Um, I gotta mentally prepare myself for this shit now. The fucking fever dream I have went on. And I thought the, going to the messenger areas was like, holy shit, this is, this is, this is it for the game. This is awesome. No, now there's this. This is the shit to worry about. Which is insane. I'm fucking loving this, but also holy shit. Ugh, okay. Well, <sighs> same time as per usual. 9.30 p.m. EST the next day. And we'll, we'll see what progress can be made. Ah, oh my gosh. Yeah, this game's insane. Alright, I'll be back tomorrow for whatever this, whatever this EXE on my computer is. Shit's wild. Bye bye. Don't earn me. No, you can't earn me. That's not nice. Pie, I guess. Okay, what the, the fuck? What do you What do you want from me, man? I can't do this. This This, this is the hardest job ever. You know that shit. You know how much blood, sweat, and tears I have to pour into opening OBS, then also making sure my internet's not gonna shit itself. Sure, man. <laughs> Hey, don't worry, the entertainment, if you want to call it that, we'll be back tomorrow. Because I fucking need a mental break, holy shit. Uh...